Hey guys, welcome back. Mike Hermes at MH Tutorials, and today I'm going to do a pretty short but hopefully helpful tutorial based on a question that I got, and that question is uh, how do I model and texture a chrome ball in Maya? Now, that is actually pretty easy because we've got a preset to do that, uh, but I'll give you some tips on how you can you know, set that up and light that, okay? So we're going to start off by creating a, uh, a simple ground plane. So from our polygons menu, and we're just going to drag that out in the grid. And we're going to give a little curve in the plane here to give it a bit more reflection. So I'm going to grab one of these edges here, right click on it, go to edge, click on the edge, edit mesh and extrude, hit W, pull that up and pull that out, something like that. Gonna right click on my object, hang on. What is going on? Hang on, Q. For some reason, I can't select my object. Oh, there we go. All right, so we've got that. Now we're going to create a sphere and we're just gonna drag that in the grid. Hit W and pull that up just a little, okay? We're going to check from our side view to make sure that we're just hitting the surface. You can hit W to pull it down like that. So that's all set. And in this case, it's important to make sure that we have enough subdivisions. Obviously, a chrome ball is nice and round. So by increasing the number of subdivisions, we can make this uh, nice and smooth. So we're going to go into the attribute editor, select your sphere, go into the attribute editor, hit control A to get that to show up if it's not up. And we're going to increase the subdivisions to 60 by 60. There we go. All right. Now we're going to apply some materials. So I'm going to select my ground plane, right click on that, assign new material. I'm going to go with a Fong E material, and I'm going to change the color to, uh, let's see, to black. Okay. Now I'm going to select my sphere. I'm going to right click on that, assign new material. I'm going to go with an MIA material, uh, material X in this case. And now we're going to get that preset that I talked about. So we're going to select our material tab in the attribute editor. We're going to go to presets and we're going to go to chrome and replace. Okay. Now to get a decent effect, it's uh, pretty important to set up some nice lighting. So what I'm going to do in this case is I'm going to use uh, image based lighting. So for that, we're going to go to our render settings. There we go. We need to make sure that we're using mental ray because the material that we applied is a mental ray. So if you don't use that, then uh, it's not going to show up. If mental ray doesn't show up in this list here, and I'll just show the people that are going to run into this problem. And apparently every time some people do that, just going to quickly show that you go to window settings, preferences, Go down to Plugin Manager, scroll down, and here you got the Maya TOMR.MML. These two should be checked. If they're unchecked, Mental Ray won't show up. This will make sure that it will load up next time as well. Okay? So back to our render settings. There we go. Okay, so we've got Mental Ray selected. We're going to go to Indirect Lighting and I'm going to select create image based lighting like that. Okay. And I'm going to select final gathering as well. Just going to go back in our uh, tab here. We're going to go to the folder option and we're going to select an HDRI file. So I got a couple up here. Um, most of these you can just uh, download for free on the internet just look for free HDRI images and, uh, You'll find something to your liking, probably. I got one over here that I like, uh, so I'm going to use that one. Uh, let's see. Okay. Got that. All right. And if I zoom out a little bit, you can see 
This is a, uh, a scene from, I think, an airport in Tokyo, something like that. Pretty cool. Uh, not too relevant, uh, the scene itself, but for lighting purposes, it's pretty cool. Okay, so we've got that set up. Back to our render settings. Okay, IBL set up. We've got final gathering set up. I'm going to go to my quality tab, and I'm going to increase that quite a bit. 1.25, something like that. Let's see, what else do we got? I'm going to make sure that ray tracing is selected. Uh, I'm going to go to my common tab, scroll down, and increase my image size to uh, HDR 1080. Minimize that. And this should give a pretty decent uh, chrome ball. So I'm just going to hit render. Uh, if it takes too long, I'll pause the video and I'll get back to you guys as soon as that is done. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I'll just, uh, actually, it's going pretty fast. We'll just uh, hang on here. It's going pretty quick, as you can see, and um, it's still going, I think. Yeah, it's still going. So this is a pretty neat way to uh, to set up a Chrome Ball, and uh, you know, based on the uh, AGRI image that you are using, you will get a totally different type of uh, reflection on the ball. Um, I think it's going to take a bit longer for the render, so I'm just going to quickly pause. Be back with you guys in a second. Hi guys, and I'm back. Well, um, actually the render took uh, quite a while, so it's a good thing that I paused the video. This is the end result. It's a really quick setup. Uh, obviously you can play with, uh, you know, lighting and so forth. Uh, but this is a pretty quick and easy way to set up a Chrome Ball. So if you've got any questions, let me know in the comments section. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and see you guys next time. Bye-bye.